Today's prepared story is about Samuel Jackson's 15 wise saying. 1. If you have an opportunity to use your voice, you should use it. 2. I don't understand how people live without creating. 3. I'm pretty focused on what I do. I think directing is a very specific talent, and I'm not real big on putting puzzles together, which is basically what a film is. 4. Take a stand for what's right. Raise a ruckus and make a change. You may not always be popular, but you'll be part of something larger and bigger and greater than yourself. Besides, making history is extremely cool. 5. I see myself as a storyteller. So when I read something, I see the story, and I see it on screen, in my head, in a certain way. I always want to see it, and see me in it. 6. Painters get up and paint. Writers get up and write. I like to get up and act. It's not a big deal. It makes me happy. 7. The best advice that was given to me was that I had to be 10 times smarter, braver, and more polite to be equal. Though no, I did. 8. Anyone who tells you money can't buy happiness never had any. 9. I guess the worst day I have had was when I had to stand up in rehab in front of my wife and daughter and say, Hi, my name is Sam and I am an addict. 10. I'm not as angry as I used to be. But I can get in touch with that anger pretty quickly if I feel my space is being invented or somebody is not treating me with the respect that I think I want. 11. I never had one beer. If I bought a six-pack of beer, I kept drinking till all six beers were gone. You have to have that kind of understanding about yourself. I haven't had a drink now in 12 years. 12. My ass may be dumb, but I ain't no dumbass. 13. Lifelong readers continue to read, finding in books the means to enjoy life or endure it. 14. If you do not have courage, you may not have the opportunity to use any of your other virtues. 15. I understood, through rehab, things about creating characters. I understood that creating whole people means knowing where we come from, how we can make a mistake, and how we overcome things to make ourselves stronger. Did you enjoy today's story? Helen Keller was able to shine brighter because she overcame her triple disabilities and showed something more important. Beethoven was able to shine brighter because he overcame his hearing loss and created beautiful music. The reason these people could shine brighter is because they beautifully transformed their trials into halos. I cheer for your bright tomorrow.